Good morning. My name is Gigi. Well, prophets. Today, Sunday, August 2, 20, 23, 2020, of prophesying in Asia America. They pray for the police officer because I see being shot. Breaking right now at 7, two officers shot on the west side. We have a crew live at Stroger Hospital. I'm Ugo Digwe. Suzanne has the day off. Those two police officers were shot in the Homan Square neighborhood. Police say they fired back at the man who shot at them. CBS 2's V Win is live at Stroger Hospital where the officers were taken. Good morning, V. Mugo, good morning. The mayor and the superintendent stopped by the hospital earlier to check and to visit um, those wounded officers. We know one officer is in good condition. The other is in serious condition right now. I want to set the scene and show you what's going on outside of Stroger Hospital. You can see there are several officers still out here. You can also see there is a squad car that is taped off in front of the emergency room. We're told both officers were shot during a traffic stop. They were taken here to the hospital in that squad car driven by a Supervisor. Now, here's what we know about the officers. Both male officers in their early 20s have been on the force for about two years. The mayor says the supervisor's quick response by bringing those officers here in the squad car saved both of their lives. In this video, you can see one of the wounded officers being pulled out of that squad car, loaded onto a stretcher, and taken into the emergency room. The shooting happened early this morning around 2.30 near Polk and Spalding Avenue. Again, it started as a traffic stop. Here's what the superintendent and it said earlier about the timeline of what happened. Officers make a traffic stop in the 11th district at Spalding and Polk. They observe a weapon, a gun, a handgun inside the car from outside. They give orders and commands to the suspect who is in the back seat of an empty car. The suspect does not comply with their commands. Officers have to physically break the windows out to the car and get into a struggle with this suspect to get him out of the car. The struggle ensues, shots are fired, the suspect shot the officers, one in the shoulder, another in the side, a third Chicago police officer returns fire as well and the suspect is injured. Now, the suspect is being treated this morning at Loyola University Medical Center. Chicago police did not have an update for us yet on the suspect's age or his condition. We know that a gun was recovered at the scene, and there is body cam footage of the shooting. But again, everything is still under investigation, including the officer's use of force. Reporting live outside Stroger Hospital, V. Wen, CBS 2 News. All right, V, thank you.